Hello, Kami Hint. Welcome back to another video. And uh, the official My Hero Wants Justice 2 website launched. And we're expecting the trailer pretty, pretty soon here. I'm super hyped up because I am going to upload the trailer. I'm going to do a breakdown of the trailer. Uh, I'm super happy that this game got a, a, a sequel, man. Because I feel like they can really do a lot of work. Uh, and get people hyped up this time around. Uh, this game, unfortunately, uh, on PC, they didn't do so hot. Um, and I understand why. But overall, worldwide, this sold over 500,000 copies. And they were not expecting that whatsoever. So here we are with the sequel. And the official website launches as it right here. Now, you guys can see here what I just said, right? As a fighting action game, My Hero Academia as a fighting action game was well-received volume that far exceeds the previous work in my hero academia wants justice 2 right so i'm assuming it's really badly translated by by, the, by google chrome but basically i'm what i'm getting from this is that because the game did so well in sales they they were like okay we gotta do once justice 2 and i guess as a thank you they were like yo we gotta work on this again now it's gonna be available on playstation 4 nintendo switch and the xbox one now, it, 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 let, let me note this. The first game was not available for the Xbox One, neither downloadable or physical, because the Xbox is not very popular in Japan, unfortunately. Um, people in Japan just don't care. They, they'd rather go with Sony, uh, which is fine. It's completely fine. I think that whenever we're talking about anime games, it, they, they work the best on PS4 because that's where they get m most of the support is for the PS4. Uh, so... With that being said, there's not information here or anything like that. There's this tweet that's really badly translated by Chrome, but I'm actually going to go back and I'm going to show you guys said tweet. And it says here, the previous characters will be updated and the number of characters will also increase in volume. And that's pretty simple, right? The, the previous characters from the first game will probably get new movesets to make them seem more fresh. So it doesn't seem like you played, you're playing like an expansion of the same game or something like that. And it will also increase the roster size, which is pretty dope. Now, we are in fact waiting for the trailer to drop at any given moment. And I'm telling you, dude, I can't even contain my hype. I'm, I'm super excited for this. And the website doesn't really have a lot of info. It's just basically, uh, you know, the, the platform, the name of the game, battle action, on the side. I think this is the release date, if I'm not mistaken. But um, I, I don't know, man. At the end of the day, this definitely seems like it's going to be a sequel and not a DLC, which, thank God, because some people did try to fight me about this. They were like, hey, this is a DLC, not not. it's not going to be a sequel. And I'm glad that it's a sequel. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, and I hope you guys are excited for this game too, man. I really do want them to, to succeed and, and put forth some support. This thing right here, 1v1, I, I don't know what this means. I hope, hey, give me an option for a 1v1, by the way. Yeah, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Hey, you guys take care. Peace.